Alright guys, what's going on? So today is going to be a super rad video because you've seen me do a bunch of really cool exhaust systems from anything from my F100, from my Fox body, and a bunch of others that we've done here on the channel. And there's been a bunch of really rad exhaust systems that I've done. I've been known for making a lot of really cool sounding systems for not a lot of money. So the Black Widow system you see here is what we've been using on every car that I've ever built. And this is by far my favorite style of system to work with. And this is a kit, a universal builder's kit. So what you have in front of me is one of their, I would say more of their half builder's kit. So it, basically we have two U-Bends, two 90s, two 45s, two straights, two of their neighbor hater muffler, and then one axe pipe. And this right here, it's the key to happiness. This is my bread and butter right here. I put this thing in every car I own. From my bullnose even, my shop truck has one of these things stacked into it. This is the key to happiness, boys. Stop running your H-pipes. Take your H-pipes and throw them in the trash. This is the this is the golden ticket right here. If you have any sort of a V-shaped engine and you don't have one of these, cut it out and redo it. Just give, go buy one of these. I don't care what mufflers you got. Just put, put this thing in. You'll thank me later, I promise. So. That's what we're doing today. We got the bug behind me. This is a Honda J30A1. So this is a V6 with VTEC, super rad. And it sounds like a freaking F1 car, even with the tractor muffler that I was on it before. And so now we're gonna make this thing try to sound like the way that I've kind of designed this in my head is something like an 70s, 80s F1 car. Like whether it be like the old NA dual overhead V8s or you know V12, V10, whatever. I think so, I'm trying to get that high pitch. I want that high pitch note. And unfortunately there's no two inch system that we can run for this. All the Black Widow stuff is two, two and a half and three inch, which is fine for what we're doing. And the original Honda stuff starts out at two inch. So what we're gonna be doing is stepping up to a two inch, two and a half inch and then run a V-band. And then we'll be building this whole system all the way up and through the back of the car. So this whole system is going to wrap around the engine. You'll be able to see it from front to back, from the header to the tailpipe. We're going to build it off from scratch right here. So you can see right here, got it all laid out. This is essentially how we start out in our one big kit. You can go on to Black Widow's website. You can grab all this stuff for yourself. But with that being said, I'm going to start putting this thing together because we have a lot of work to do and no time to do it. It's almost 10 p.m. right now. I'm starting the exhaust. I have to be in LA for a conference in like 12 hours. I'm screwed. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, guys, before we get too deep into today's video with the Baja bug, you can see we're back home safe with it, but this video is absolutely rad. And it's because of an amazing group of people working on this thing. And the one thing I wanted to tell you guys about before the video gets too deep is that we do have an awesome t-shirt for this thing. So as you guys saw, Megan Rodriguez did all the amazing artwork on the side of this car and all over the entire car. And she was the one that actually did an amazing artwork for the t-shirt on this thing. So we have a t-shirt, a long sleeve, as well as a crew neck. We're also gonna have decals and a bunch of other things coming very very soon but right now on the website is the hoodie the t-shirt and the crew neck you guys go grab that right now on the website i'll have a link for it that is the stuff that helps pay for these builds supports me and it's an exclusive limited edition run for you guys to enjoy so if you guys like the bug as much as i do the pony boy collection is now live on the website do not sleep on it because it will not last very long i'll have a link down in the description below for you guys as well as the pinned comment if you want to check that stuff out support me it really does mean a lot and it goes a long way so thank you guys a bunch i really do appreciate it with that being said let's get back into the video later guys so the first step in a good exhaust system is to hack the back of your car off. Almost like a high schooler would cut his exhaust off in a high school parking lot. But this time we're just cutting the back of the car off. Just snake our tubes in there a little better. These are Durking Clevis mount, basically tube connectors. And that will make the back half of this car removal so we can get the motor out. You know, if and when Quake decides to go completely with my VTEC, but it's a Honda, so it should be indestructible. But you know, I have a great track record on not breaking engines, so we'll see how that goes. But anyways, we're gonna cut the back of this thing off. What this allows us to do is add, I mean, you could add technically, I think it was like two two and three quarters or two and five eighths or almost three inches realistically with this thing if you wanted to. But we're gonna basically cut this in half, add this connector in, see how the tube sits, and then we'll probably take another inch out of the cage because this is gonna add like an inch and five eighths to our overall dimension. And it'll kick the cage out just a little bit from where we initially built it. What that'll do is it'll give us more room to snake our exhaust because it's gonna wrap around and then it's gonna come up through here. We're gonna snake the X-pipe right up top and then it's gonna have teardrop tips that turn up right out of the top of the cage. But we do need to make all this stuff removable. So Franklin built some motor mounts last night and those are removable. Pretty much everything we need to make removable. So a lot of you guys were commenting on the first video when I built this back up. You're like, hey, yo, how do you uh, how do you take the how do you take the motor out? <laughs> so we're doing that now. This is how we do it. You build the whole thing and then you cut it later. So we're gonna measure it out and go ahead and cut the back of this thing off. This is great. <laughs> I broke it. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Here, pull this. Frank, what'd you do? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fine. What do you mean? <laughs> it's like right there, too. Let's give her a little. Good as new. Fine. Yeah, this battery's annoying. It's very annoying. 
Mm-hmm. You see that. Grab this. Uh, uh, nice turn. That'll look cool on my wall. Wow, it looks like right back where we started three weeks later. Look at us, guys. We're doing great. There's a mouth. Yeah. Yeah. There's a finger on what? There, hit it. It's in. You think you got it? She got it. You're stronger than the mouth. <laughs> she doesn't stick that far out. Yeah. It's actually not bad. What do you That's think? Straight. Just leave him, not cut it. Just run it the way it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, wow, all that work I did for the oil filter, man. Didn't have to do any of it. You mean the two by fit there? Yeah. <laughs> now I can almost fit these. <laughs> that is too, way too tight. What do you mean? Really hot muffler right next to the engine? I think it's not That's all you're going to hear while you're driving. Ooh. You're going to melt the paint off the license plate. Yeah, no, this is good. I stand connected. Okay. Couldn't you just take the bolts out and like lower them just a little bit at the same time? And then they would be perfectly straight? Kind of, but like I wouldn't do it that way. Okay. Well, I'm just, I'm just playing. Just thinking with my ears. Oh, my hip. Wow. Oh, <laughs> got me. Alright guys, so we got the back half. Clevis is actually welded up. Motor mounts are done. Everything's done. So the back half of this thing is pretty much ready to rock. So we're going to start snaking the exhaust in here. So what I'm going to do, this had a three bolt flange that I have a really hard time finding a gasket for. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to hack this off. And I'm going to weld a 90 on it. So I got, I don't know where anything is right now. I think these are, yeah, an exhaust adapters just to make all this work. So I'm going to go from the original two inch collector that's here to a two and a half. Put a little 90 bend in this guy. Route this over and then make a U-turn. And we're going to put a V-band v -band right here and get rid of this gasket. Okay, so it'll be V-banded, and then it's gonna loop around. Our muffler's gonna sit pretty much down low. You can see this guy's pretty small. So we'll be able to tuck this guy you know, somewhere right about here, and then we'll route it up and out the back and out the top. So it's gonna be kind of a weird looking system. It's gonna be kind of difficult to sneak this thing up in here, but now that we added a little over two inches, cause we didn't end up cutting it actually, we just ended up extending it. And then this should actually fit really, really nicely. We have a lot more room to work with now. So I'll be able to sneak this thing up nice and nice and clean like, and it should work out real well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off and start welding. This is kind of a rough deal. I could have flipped this upside down and literally just done a quick U and then ran it down and up, but I want to increase the runner length. That's one thing I want to try to do here is because I increased the diameter, I want to give myself more runner for scavenging. I don't know if it's going to really matter being a stock engine, but this thing does rev pretty damn high. So I figure, so it doesn't sound quite as straight pipey Honda-y, add some runner to it, get, get some scavenging going on, allow all the pressures to equalize between the three cylinders on this side, and then I'll kick it and put the muffler up here. And then when we go into the X-pipe, it'll, it'll, it'll do pretty good. I'm going to measure this out and try to copy the length and pattern on the other side to the best of my ability because the motor mounts are not symmetrical because of the way the blocks are. But I'm going to wrap this thing around and I'm going to kick a 45 right here. Stab my V-band right here on this guy. So this will be kind of out and to the side. It's still just above the bottom of the roll cage so I shouldn't have to worry about hitting it on anything. And then we'll be able to swap mufflers out if I want to ever change this muffler. It'd be nice because then I can take from here off the back of the car and then I can if I ever want to make it quieter. I don't know if I will but I might. I might hate it after this or after a little while. No. I can put a quieter muffler if I wanted it to, but I don't think I'll ever change it. I'm just going to put the beam in it just to make myself feel better. I really could build this whole system because of the way that we have these clevises on the back half. I could pretty much build this whole thing without these. Take the back half off and slide the whole exhaust system out in one piece. I'm trying to make it look kind of cool. We're going to panel this out, I believe. So it'd be pretty rad if we could have a two-piece panel that wraps around this. And then you have the exhaust poke out of the panel and then go back in the panel. I think that'd be really cool. So I don't know, I'm just playing with them, having fun. I'm just trying to see something that looks cool. You look at the car from the back and you're like, damn, that's sick. That's kind of what we're trying to build so keep going Okay, so I got the muffler right here and I'm gonna add the V-band in now. So I want this to be facing upward so you can read the Black Widow on this thing. And I'm gonna be putting it down here. So what I'm gonna do is this fits currently with the current setup that I have in the car and I don't wanna necessarily modify this end. So what I'm gonna do is measure out and displace the amount of material on the V-band and add it in here. So essentially I'm gonna be cutting this thing, ironically right where that line is right there. So I don't have to make a new line, I'll just cut it right there. And essentially when I weld that back on, it'll be the exact same distance. It's not gonna add or subtract any material, which is what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right there, stitch that V-band on, and then stitch it in the car. All 
All right guys, so I got the one side of the exhaust tacked up. You can see this is kind of what we're working with. I'm sure a lot of guys are gonna be like, what in the heck is going on? Because there's a lot of ways you could have snaked this, but I want you guys to keep in mind, there's essentially gonna be a panel right here. So the way I did this, I could have probably sucked this tube in a little more, but it's gonna poke out of the panel and then it's gonna go back in the panel. Basically the exhaust will be hanging out the side and then it'll snake back in. If I do end up paneling this thing back in, if we leave it raw, it would still look really cool. But you gotta keep in mind, I wanted to get myself enough runner length to make this thing actually like sound decent versus just being a straight header dumped, you know, Honda. I don't want to listen to that so sneaked up the x bike here the only thing i'm having a dilemma with is where i want to run these tips because originally i was going to roll them back and then teardrop them out but i want a little more runner, runner length on the x so i don't really know where i want to put them originally i was going to bend them out and then throw like a teardrop over here and then over there but i'm not sure i like that either i don't want somebody to put their hand on this thing and burn their hand so i might just do it like a pagani zonda and then flop them back and run it straight to shotguns right at your face kind of like a sawed off shotgun so i don't know i might do something like that or a barrel break shotgun i mean so i'm not quite sure what i want to do but i think i'm going to end up cutting them rolling them back and then just shoot them straight back and i'll have it kind of like a stinger hang out about six inches or so and then i'll just cut them and weld the two together and they'll be straight cut tips so i think that's probably my best bet with making this thing sound decent so we'll see either way it's coming together getting there for sure a lot of work's getting done to this car and it's coming along real fast wrapping up the wiring up front and uh we should be able to fire this thing up hopefully tonight so we will see but it's definitely close so yeah exhaust that day we pretty much have the system built so check it out so this is what we're kind of working with looks a little wild looks a little weird looks a little different definitely trying to do something out of the ordinary it does make this cool little loopy do and uh, like I keep saying about the runner thing plus I just think adding more length to it will make it just sound just a little bit better hopefully I mean I haven't done a v6 haven't done a Honda I haven't done any of this before this is all just things from here going there that's what we're doing so make stuff happen but it is v-banded so I can go ahead and weld the front half weld the rear half probably looking at this x pipe being like yo what the hell is going on with this why are you just straight up like that so this is not our final form so i'm gonna cut that pretty much right there on both sides i'm gonna roll these back and i'm gonna essentially be looping these into a cool little shotgun tip that kind of comes off almost like a, like a lot of these vintage bugs had these stingers that came off it kind of went up into the air mine's not gonna be that gnarly but i do really like the big up the back pagani zondas to where it's like a two dual shotgun tip straight out so i'm gonna replicate that have them roll to center and then weld the two tips together straight out at you and i might radius cut the ends of them so they look really cool i haven't really figured that apart out yet this exhaust might be temporary so i don't really know what we're doing but i'll find out some sort of tip and i'll start welding it on the car and then i'm gonna stitch this whole thing up try to get the thing to fire up so we'll see yeah it works okay so i did a rescan re cleared the codes it had a pcm issue cleared that fixed that should actually rev now Honda's, Honda's a grown on me, man. That throne's pretty damn good. Sounds mean, dude. JDM, we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys, so we just wrapped this thing up. We're kind of filming two videos in one, so you might be able to realize the comparisons between the two, but you can see the bug kind of come together. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up, so make sure it's a neutral bag, and then you can go ahead and light it off. Ooh, baby. Yeah, that looks good. Damn, that's cool. Heck yeah, well other like last videos we do a lot of street testing. In this video we're gonna take this thing out in the dirt and actually hear it in the whoops and a bunch of other terrain. So I'm gonna catch this video back at King of the Hammers in 2024 where you get to hear this thing absolutely destroy some whoops. So I'll see you guys out there, let's go. Halloween duck, man. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> Here, just hold the starter. Ah, yeah, go try it. Go drive it. Oh my gosh. Oh, did it die? I think it might have died and she caught it. We'll see if she can get it back up here. I think she's, I mean, she's plenty capable to drive the car. It's my car. Might, it's, it's going. It might not run. Oh, look at this thing. This thing's insane. Wow. Yeah, it's actually working now. It's working now. Looks like he took a push out. The whole damn plant with it, man. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs>
right, guys. Well, there you have it. This thing uh, sounds freaking rad. Looks wild, too, with the Black Widow exhaust. Got the neighbor haters on there. X-Pipe, the whole nine. I really, really like the way this system came out. Super, super stoked on the fit and finish of everything. Just kind of looks different. It's different than what you would normally see on a bug. That's really what I was going for. So massive thank you to the guys of our Black Widow exhaust once again for supplying the best sound in the business. Super stoked to get to work with those guys. And I'm pretty happy with the way the car sounds and drives. It's a lot of fun on the street. It's a little bit sketchy for sure, but a ton of fun either way. Had a bunch of fun out in the dirt with it and hope to get it out there a lot more soon. So hope you guys did go and enjoy today's video. Drop a like on it if you did. Hope you guys are excited to see more cool stuff with the bug. We're going to get back on some of the other projects like my truck, Mustang, the Galaxy. With that being said, see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.